Okay, we move on from Ohio State. Next, we have Wisconsin. Their over-under is set at 9.5 wins. Um, decent team last year. I don't know that they quite matched expectations that they had. I, I know they did not match expectations most had for them. Um, Graham Mertz, their quarterback, was very hot and cold. Um, it seemed like he was either on fire or literally burning up because he sucked so bad in every single game. It, it was There was almost nothing in between. Jalen Berger was a four-star freshman running back last year who was pretty decent. Jake Ferguson is one of the best tight ends in the country. I I like them, and it, it feels like they're one of those teams where you almost can't focus too much on the personnel because they're a little bit personnel dependent as a program at this point. Now, obviously, that could change a bit just because Graham Mertz has more talent than any quarterback they've had since Russell Wilson, in my opinion. So, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure how to feel about Wisconsin. How do you feel about them this year? So, taking the under there, um, especially at nine and a half, and the reason is, I think, I it's almost copy paste, especially with 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 what they have. They have a system. We mentioned it, and and you're used to them. They're going to have a really good offensive line, and they're going to run the football, and they're going to go off play action. That's how they're going to 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 spread the ball out um, with what with what little they do, but. I, so I have them losing to Penn State, Notre Dame two weeks later, sorry, three weeks later, Michigan and Iowa. So the that, that puts them at four losses. And yeah, no, I, I, I they're gonna they're going to be they're gonna finish second. I think Iowa will will win that um, that side and and play Ohio State in the Big Ten championship. And you you almost hate to say it because they're so consistent. They, they are who we think they are and they're that way every year and they're always going to win games and they, they could easily win one or two of those games and finish at 10 and two and just make me look silly. I mean, because they're Wisconsin, that's what they do. They don't really have the name recognition, but it's a system there and you're they're They play, they, they play you with a, with that system. And, and that's kind of how they, yeah, that's how they approach things. And so yeah, to their credit, I have, I think I was maybe more talented than them as far as just from a pure talent standpoint, which is why I'm picking Iowa, but yeah, no, I, it wouldn't surprise me at all if Wisconsin would come and, and, and win and win, especially that game against Iowa and go play for the big 10 title. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure. I agree with the talent comment. I do think that Wisconsin has upped the recruiting a little bit, bringing in a five-star uh, freshman, Nolan Rucci at offensive tackle. And, and they, that's just one example. They, they have started bringing in more four and five-star players. Um, not, not, not anything on the same level as Ohio State or even Penn State, but it does feel like they have upped the talent level a little bit. Uh, I do think they're pretty good. They're, I don't believe that any of the games in their schedule are, are like losses, like they're going to lose that game for sure. But there are six teams I think that could beat them. I have Penn State, Notre Dame, Michigan, Iowa, Northwestern, and Minnesota all as teams that could get them. And I think they have to go four and obviously they have to go four and two against those six in order to get the over on this. So I'm also on the under. I do think nine and three is the most likely outcome for their season. I do like them. The main thing I like about them is their defense. Jim Leonard, their defensive coordinator, is an absolute star. And if he was not a Wisconsin alum, I don't believe he would be there. I think he would have a much higher profile job. This is another defensive coordinator that if Ohio State would have Jim Leonard, I would I would be higher on them. This guy is an absolute superstar, and as long as he stays at Wisconsin, they're going to have a really good defense. I really think he is one of the best in the country at what he does, and Jimmy's and Joe's matter more than X's and O's on defense. You know, we have the old saying, X's and O's matter on offense, Jimmy's and Joe's on defense. But when you have an an elite coordinator like that, he can make up for some of the some of the lacks of the Jimmy's and Joe's, if, if you will. Um, and I, I do believe they have one of the best in the country. The and point two for Wisconsin is should Mertz continue to, to, to grow and develop into what we saw Russell Wilson, you mentioned him, but what we saw with that to where they have a threat other than the play action pass. They can throw it off of just a regular drop back and snap it out. If they if they do develop that on offense, absolutely. Like the sky's the limit with them because they, they do have they, they always have. They're going to have three or four 
NFL caliber offensive linemen, mm-hmm. and they're go- they're they're going to have actually pretty decent pass rushers. Like we've seen that so they, they they have players there. We're not saying that they don't have talent. Just you do wonder can the can the quarterback continue to progress to what we saw Wilson Russell Wilson. Obviously, he's special. That's a special case there. That's not gonna that's not every college quarterback that you're gonna have. But if they could get to that level again, absolutely. This, really, the, the sky is the limit with them. Um, mm-hmm. In in big games, that system and the system that they use as currently constructed is go, you're gonna you're gonna struggle to beat te- other teams that are as talented or more talented than you. Yeah, and I do this. This might sound like a like a knock, and that's not how I mean it. Um, I, I kind of view them a little bit as I almost hesitate to use this phrase because it I can just hear the way it sounds, and I don't like the way it sounds. But they, I kind of see them as poor man's Notre Dame a little bit, where they don't usually have the receiving core as of one of the elite teams in the country but they're built on their offensive line. You trust their defense. They have really good defense, really good offensive line, and they get solid play at quarterback, running back, receiver. You know, they don't have any major holes. I don't think they're quite as talented as Notre Dame, uh, and hence why I feel pretty decent about that game from as a Notre Dame fan. However, they are very good. I would not be surprised if we lost that game. One of the main question marks for me is like the, the offensive skill talent. Can the receiver step up? Can they give Graham Mertz someone to throw to? Obviously, he has a really good tight end. But again, that kind of reminds you of Notre Dame. Notre Dame always has good tight ends. There's still no replacement for really good receivers. And I'm not sure that Wisconsin is quite at that level. I It was a tough call for me, but I am on the under for them. <laughs>